This is question 7. R and S are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 5 is to 3. T joins the firm as a new partner. R gives one fourth of his share of OF of. This one fourth of his share means multiply and minus. Of means multiply. From means minus. And S gives one fifth of his share to the new partner of his share. This is one fourth of and one fifth of to the new partner. Find out new profit sharing ratio. This is answer 7. Old ratio of R is to S is equal to 5 is to 3. R surrendered to T that is 5 by 8 is the old share and multiplied by 1 fourth. He surrendered 1 fourth of his share to T of 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 means multiply that is 1 fourth 5 upon 32. Hence R surrendered 5 upon 32 to T. Likewise S surrendered to T, his share was 3 by 8 and it is written in the question that he surrendered one fifth of his share that is equal to 3 upon 40. 3 1 3 upon 5, 8 5 ja 40. Hence R surrendered to this much, S surrendered to this much. R's new share will be old share minus surrendered share. His old share was 5 upon 8, he surrendered 5 upon 32. LCM 32. This is 32 upon 8 4, 5 for 20 minus 5, that is equal to 15 upon 32. Here to make the denominator equal, we have to multiply with 5 upon 5 to make the denominator 160. That is 15 5 ja 75 upon 32 5 ja 160. SS new share is equal to 3 upon 8 is the old share minus S surrendered to T 3 upon 40. 3 upon 8 minus 3 upon 40 LCM is equal to 40. Hence 8 5 is 40. 8 3 is 15 minus 3 that is equal to 12 upon 40. We have to get the common denominator not the numerator. To make the denominator 160 we have to multiply it by 4 upon 4 that will be 48 upon 160. We got the common denominator. Now what is T share? T got from R 5 upon 32 plus S 3 upon 40. They surrendered T got. They surrendered R and S surrendered and T got. LCM will be rupees 160 divided by 32 that is 25 plus 14 is equal to 37 upon 160. Therefore, the new ratio of R is to S is to T is equal to 75 is to 48 is to 37. 75 is to 48 is to 37. This is the new ratio of R is to S is to T.